Hi everyone, I'm Brenda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making Brussels sprouts and bacon. This is um, a really favorite recipe of my husband's. I was just asking him yesterday, how do Brussels sprouts grow? Whenever I get them, they're already in a container. I had no idea um, when he told me that they grew on a large stock. So I'm going to cut these off, clean them up, and then we'll get to making bacon and Brussels sprouts. While I'm cleaning up the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to cook up four slices of bacon. Seeing how this is the first time I'm preparing Brussels sprouts from the stock, I wasn't sure if I had to cut them off, but they easily just pop, or snap I should say, right off the stock. And if there's any leaves that have um, discoloration like here you just remove those after the bacon has been cooked I drained it on a paper towel when it cools off I'm going to crumble it up I'm going to leave the bacon fat in the pan to cook the Brussels sprouts I left about two to three tablespoons of the bacon fat and removed the rest I'm saving it in the cup just in case I need it I'm going to carefully Add these I don't want the bacon fat spitting at me. So I'm going to cook these in the bacon fat until they're nice and done. I'm going to add some freshly ground black pepper. I'm not adding salt because the bacon is salty enough. Okay, I'm going to cook this on a medium-high heat until it's done. I'll be tossing it around from time to time. The Brussels sprouts have been cooking for 10 minutes. This is what you want, this nice golden color that you're picking up from the bacon drippings. I'm going to place a cover on it um, for about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll check on them to see if they've softened up. The Brussels sprouts have been cooking for 10 minutes. I'm going to use a sharp knife. These are just about done. I'm going to make sure, ooh, there's a hot one. I want to make sure the knife can go right into the Brussels sprout. So I'm going to give these probably about five more minutes. I'm going to keep them uncovered. I added a little bit more of the bacon drippings. They have this beautiful color going on here. And we're almost done, guys. The Brussels sprouts are all done. You don't want to cook them so they're mushy. I like to have a little bite to mine, yet they're still tender. Just toss that bacon around. And there you go. Delicious Brussels sprouts and bacon. I'm going to give these a taste. I pulled out a couple of the Brussels sprouts. You can see this is very tender. Give this a taste. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. These are so good. I want to get a piece of bacon on there. I hope you give this recipe a try, guys. It's really easy to make. It's a great vegetable side dish. If you would like a printed copy of my recipe, I'll leave the link down below. Thanks for watching.